Right. Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever the time is. Um, where you are. Um, we're currently flying to Chicago O'Hare. Uh, we're landing on 28 Center, which is this room right here. <laughs> we're actually just doing the long downwind now. Uh, it's a very long, very slow descent down, and that's basically how Chicago works. Um, so I'm actually going to do direct hazel at some point and then take it from there on an RNAV approach. But a few people have asked me, one or two, have asked me to share the sensitivity settings that I use. So first off, in the config of the MCDU, so if we look at controls, um, this is the throttle I'm using. I've just got a null zone of 5 on it and it's calibrated as I like, so that's fairly normal. Side stick profile, I've got a null zone of 4% on both of those. That just means that if I nudge it by accident during the flight, it doesn't trigger the autopilot disconnect. Um, that is quite annoying. And flaps, I use a button on my controller for that, so that's no, no need to be set up or anything. There's no particular position that that's going to possibly be. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to continue. I just set down to about 4,000 feet. Uh, let's have a look at the sensitivity settings. So I've got a profile that I made fresh uh, for this, which is T1600M Phoenix A320 profile. Um, I'm using the T1600. Dead zone of 2% on all controls, 9% uh, on the x-axis, so that's roll, and 0 on everything else apart from the sliders, apparently 1%. Okay. I could actually put that to zero. <laughs> That'll be fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I'm currently using, but this is liable to be tweaked. So basically, 0% is roughly right. If you find it's too twitchy, you can decrease it, which is what I've done with the uh, roll axis here. Yeah. So it's not particularly fancy or anything. It's basically 9% on this one, 0 on everything else. Dead zone 2, reactivity always 100%. Reducing reactivity has some weird, weird results, so I don't bother with it, really. Yeah, that's the settings, really. Uh, I'll apply and save that. Right, just descending into a cloud now, um, so unfortunately we will be IMC. And I'm going to ask for direct hazard at some point soon. Performance-wise, we're going to activate an engage approach phase. So that's going to reduce us down. I would imagine we have to be above 5,000 feet for a reason here. Um, we're just about to overfly Chicago. Um, and obviously we don't want to go below a certain altitude. I'm sure there is a restricted airspace around the city. Um, so we might well make the long final, but I'm going to probably shortcut to Hazel as soon as we're clear off the shore. So if we turn to Hazel now, where would we be? No terrain of any significance there. Yeah, so we're still over the city. I'm going to do it anyway, direct Hazel. You can see that started our descent now. try and save the descent now. Now that's on seatbelt signs on and reset auto brake to low for the approach today. We had 1 hour 57 minutes flight time, it's about 2 hours and 10 minutes we've come from uh, New Orleans today. And I'm not sure if that's real. <laughs> but look at that photogrammetry, uh, looking um, shabby shall we say, <laughs> just a little bit shabby, um, but more or less okay. Now wasn't there a theory that makes field was going to be re in Nope, it hasn't been reinstated. There's the Sears Tower, the Willis Tower. Let's make it a long left turn to Hazel. Let's do a shout out. O'Hare traffic, United 592, direct Hazel, RNAV 28 Center. Makes a nice picture actually, this left turn over the shoreline. <laughs> So slowly descending down, we've got a profile here again. The altimeter setting is 3033. Um, 3034 now, so I'm not 
Let's just back up there one. Let's do a dot metar. K O R D. Briefers are at 11, so I can actually. Yep, cross check that there. It's 330 slash 11. Temperature is 8 degrees Celsius. And 3034. Minimum today 1094 feet. We're doing a kind of higher minimum. Our nav approach, there's no need to use the full minimums as we're completely VMC. Um, so we may well even uh, just switch this to a visual approach as we are visual with the runway. And I see no real clouds apart from this one which we're about to go through, uh, which is not even impeding visibility in any way. Um, so we could just take this as a visual approach at this point now. We've got about 10 miles to go. Let's set flaps one. Okay, we're getting faster. We don't want to get faster. Gear down. 2,500. Using the gear as a speed brake. Okay, we're below flaps uh, S. So we're going to set flaps 2. Now flaps 2 has the effect of a lot of lift. So we're going to push ourselves up over the profile. You can see that happening now. That is realistic. Aircraft slightly noses down to get the profile back. I'm going to be very careful about where I set flaps 3 though because that has had recently the effect of nose diving below the profile. So I'm going to wait until I'm below 160 before setting flaps 3. Spoilers need arming. Let's do that. Donk, spoilers now armed. We've got a right crosswind as you can see here, 0808 at 17. It's going to be 33011, so it's going to be a full 10 knot crosswind, really. Speed's below 160. Get down to F speed before I set it. Okay, let's set that flaps 3 now. Let's see what happens. There's the big nose down. That's a bug that needs to be fixed, basically. And flaps full. Okay, flaps are full, landing lights on, signs on, cabin ready, spoilers armed, and clearance is not required. Below profile now because of that pitch uh, down for flaps free. No hair traffic, uh, United 594, short final, 2-8 centre. So let's see if we can actually do a landing with this setup. Turning us just slight crosswind, just so we've got about 700 feet per minute now, just keeping that set rate constant. You can see the nose trying to pitch down there, just pushing back up. There's a red crane just there. Minimum. Probably a no time activated point that Continue. See so we're slightly below profiles, let's pitch up. Okay, the wind's twisting around now. Uh, so the visual profile's okay, we're not looking at Pappy anymore at this point. I'm going to hit the runway threshold at about 100. 50. 40, Too low 30, terrain. 20, retard. Touchdown. Just releasing the back pressure.
like a high speed exit to eight knots. And we shall do a right left here. Landing rate felt like there was a small extra bit of lift at the end. Basically, the ground effect is a bit more effective now. <laughs> uh, so let's see what the landing rate came out as. 107 feet per minute at 1.05 g. I'll take that very happily. Yeah, so we touched down very gently and then um, slightly bounced. And carried on. And turn left here, actually. anyone just to get us in. Let's actually over to this area here, that's United. Let's cross this runway. Anything particular here? Uh, Hadley United, no specific stand booked. Go into this jetty here. Taxi view. <laughs> That's used in the FSA three eighty. So I don't see any problem with doing this. This one, Echo One Free. Maybe that's a smaller plane than we actually are, but oh well. <laughs> Parking brake set, engines down, APUs available. Check the landing time basically. Ten oh nine. It's now fourteen, so that's plenty of time. We'll shut down. Dunk. And that's the end of the video. So hopefully those sensitivity settings are some help. Uh, it will probably only be valid if you are using a T sixteen hundred M, sixteen thousand M, or maybe the TCA Airbus pack from Thrustmaster. Otherwise, I'm not sure what your sensitivity needs to be.